Well, hello and welcome again. Uh, this is chapter one uh, lab demo in which you have been uh, a scenario that you have been asked or tasked to build a simple network with two hosts and two switch. Again, you have been asked as a network administrator to build a very simple network that has two switches and two computers and you've been asked to change the default host name, set the local password, configure login banner, display and print the running configurations, identify the iOS version and interface status, uh, assign IP address to all hosts using 192.168.1 network, test connectivity, and finally save the network configuration. And over here, I have listed the steps that need that you need to follow not necessarily the command the steps that you need to follow in order to design this network as as needed so the first thing i'm going to do i will click on uh, uh network devices click on switches and drag two 2600s one and two all right next i will click on end devices and I will drag to desktop one and two. It's going to be PCA and PCB if you want. Okay. Now I need to connect both the switches and, 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 and the router. I would need to physically connect the switches and the routers as needed. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the connections, use a copper straight to cable, and I click on... Uh, if you want Ethernet 6, and I'll go to Ethernet 6 over here, 6 to 6. You can use anything available, by the way. All right. And then I'll do the same thing, use the same cable, go from Ethernet 1 to desktop, the first desktop, and do the same thing from the second switch, use Fast Ethernet 1 and I'll go to the fast Ethernet over here. So, so far, I have physically connected the, 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 the end devices to the switches. Now that they are connected, I am asked to change the default host name for the, for the switches, for the switches if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do only one switch because one of the lab assignments that I, I have for you is doing the same thing that I'm doing right now. I'm gonna go to switch one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on switch one, all right? And I'll use bring command line over here. I'll hit enter, enter, okay? So, so this is the steps that I need to do. The first thing I need to change the host. In order to log in to a Cisco router or switch, the first thing you need to do, you have to type in enable. And once you do enable, you need to do uh, config T, all right? And you hit enter. Now, at this point, you can start configuring the components or the devices as needed. I need to change the host name. So to change the host name, all what you need to do is host dash name space sw1 switch one okay you can see the command host name space w sw1 i hit enter uh next thing i am asked to set up a password i am asked to set up a password all right in order to set up a password what you need to do we're going to type in uh enable all right enable space secret space I'm gonna, i'll type uh class for password and i hit enter now in order to protect access a physical access or local access to to any routers or switch we need to configure something known as a console access to the console the way you do that you can type line space con for console zero only one console that exists we hit enter and once we're there we're going to type in password and here we're going to use cisco type in cisco i hit enter and this will be this credential will be used for anyone that want to log in using the console all right you hit enter and you type 
exit. Now we had just set up a password to log into the router and password or a switch and password for anyone that tried to console physically connect to our to our switch. Uh, next thing they asked us, they asked us to go. We did change it. We did change the host name. We changed the password. Now we need to configure the banner. Banner is used so anybody trying to log in to the switch will be warned. And the way we do that, we'll do there is a command known as banner space M O T D, which is then message of the day. And you hit you put pound sign and you could put any warning that you want over here, any type of warning. All right, then pound sign again and you hit enter hit enter all right now we set up the warning if somebody tried to log in uh, uh sometimes okay uh, okay sometimes you may want to see what you have just done you need configure we did login you want to see the running configuration uh i'm going to keep it a little bit under i'm going to keep it a little i'll do that later i'm going to go to steps so i want uh, we logged in with it. Uh, we logged into the switch. We entered the configuration by doing config t. We change the host name. One little thing that's really good to do is disable a DNS lookup. Reason why we do disable a DNS lookup. If you don't do that, when you make a mistake and type in the wrong command, the switch or the router will stay there for a few minutes trying to resolve that command. To disable that, what do we need to do? The command is known no IP space domain and if you domain tab if no IP space domain dash dash look up. So the command is I'm sorry, I have a type over here. So let me go back here. The command is no that's why I didn't no IP domain no ip domain uh no ip no ip domain dash look this is oops sorry dash lookup and hit enter and by typing no ip domain dash lookup i just disabled uh dns lookup now if i mistyped anything the router will not the switch or the router will not hang in there for five or six minutes before it came back to me now, I already did configure the local password when I use enable secret. When I did this, when I did this, I configured the local password. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, we already did, uh, we were in this switch, I believe. Yep. We already configured the host, the MOTD. Now we need to sign IP addresses to both computer A and computer B. The way we do that, the way we do that, all right, I'm going to just change this one here to SW1 so I remember that this is the one that I'm working. If you ever ask to assign an IP address to a computer in a network, you're going to click on the computer, you're going to go to the computer, uh, go to the desktop, go to IP, and assign the IP address. All right, what is an IP address? IP address is a number that is assigned to computer to identify that number in an hour. The same way phone numbers are being used. Now, it said that assigning IP address from 192.168.1.0 network. So, this is this computer, I'm going to give it 192.168.1.10 and subnet mask. I mean, it will get 255, 255. There is no router and there is no DNS. That's all what we need to be done. If you need to change the host name for PC, you can go here into configure and you can call it PCA if you want. We just changed the host names. All right. We're going to do the same thing for PC2. You're going to click on PC2, go to desktop, go to IP configuration and give it 192. That 168, that one, that 20. Okay. And there is again no DNS, no IP addresses. So we just assigned an IP address to both PCA and PCB. Now let's test and see that these two computers are talking to other to each other. This is step H. To do that, you're gonna go to PCA and you go to desktop and you click in command prompt. 
and we're going to check what IP address is it using first. I'll type IP config if you want. All right. And you can see it's using 10. So I'm going to go ahead and type ping space 192.168.1.20. 20. 20 is the other computer that we just did. And you can see that the other computer is replying to my ping. All right. So we tested connectivity. Now, uh, after the, after you do the configuration, you'll be asked to save all the configuration that you have been doing uh, to, and in order to do that, we can type exit here, all right? And the command is, uh, it, it, the command is, uh, I think it's copy, I just wanna double check, copy, yep. The couple shortcut, copy, I'm gonna she is copy start to run. And it's uh, no volatile configuration memory is valid. Let me try to do it from here. Configure the exact command is copy. All right, we're gonna type if you type copy running dash config space to start space config. This will save all the configuration that we did into the switches. Otherwise, if you don't do this and you turn off the switch, all your configuration will be, will be, will be lost. We did this one, and it asks you, where do you want to, where do you want to save it? Just hit enter. Now configuration has been built and has been saved. Okay. Uh, next thing, they want you to review the current running configuration. You want to see all the configuration that you did. I will maximize this window so we can see better. To do that, a simple command is known as, if you type just uh, show space run and you hit enter and you keep hitting space bar. By the way, this is the secret password that we just used. The reason why it looks like this because it is encrypted, okay? This is no domain lookup that we did for the DNS. If you keep it in space bar, space bar, you can see. And this is the line console that, this is the banner that we did. Okay, this is the banner that we did, the warning. And this is the line console that we can configured. And you can see the password over here. See the password over here. All right, so that show a run in. And next thing you are asked, sorry, Click here. Next thing, you, we save the configuration. You, they will, they ask you, do you want to see the version of the operating system that is running on this switch? The command that does that, okay, the command that does that, it's show, if you do show version or just sh version, you hit enter and you can see this is, I will show you, this is the version of operating system that is running here and i'll really show you let me see which is going to say there we go it say the version that is running it's 12.2 and this is the type of this that would call this the switch image that we are using so by doing that we answer these questions next thing they want you to, to see uh uh what do you call it the, the status of the of the following port fa01 fa02 and 02 and why we do that because you see if all the port are connected disconnected are they up are they down and so forth and again there are multiple ways of doing that uh one of the most common one we can do is i think we can do uh show ip show ip interface uh, uh, show IP interface, sorry, show IP interface brief. If you do show IP interface brief and you hit enter, it shows you all the port, right? All the port. And you can see that some port are down and sometimes they're up. For instance, for instance, fast Ethernet 01 that we use right here, it's, it's up 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 and has an ip address but fast ethernet that we didn't use is down 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 <clears throat> looking at fast uh, fast ethernet 6 that we use is all the way up 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 because we configured and we connected it if you want to see all the port if you go into options go to uh, preferences and type always show port number 
you hit the X over here and now